Hi lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Tawa and on this channel, I share skincare tips and product recommendations to help you safely achieve and maintain your clear, glowing, youthful skin. So if this sounds like something you'll be interested in, then be sure to subscribe, join the Glow Fam and keep watching. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Faded Serum by My Topicals and I'm going to be showing you before and after pictures so you can see exactly what the serum did for me, what the serum did for my skin and this should help you decide if it's worth trying. Also, this is a black owned, women owned brand so that's part of the reason why I looked into this product but that isn't why I ordered it, that isn't why I decided to give it a trial. You know, I decided to give this product a trial because of the ingredient deck. You know, it has pretty much the gangster ingredients you want in your skincare product if you're battling with hyperpigmentation, which you guys all know is one of my biggest struggles. I've had post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation in the past and the pigmentation is very difficult to treat, of course. So I'm constantly looking for product to completely help me clean up and eradicate the dark pigments or patches left from my post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation you know i had this one this little bad boy last week and the spot is there and that's what happens with us with brown skin us skin of color we pigment easily any scratch any bite any little irritation will leave behind the pigmentation which is the dark spots or brown patches you see on most skin most skin of people with skin of color so yeah so the serum I've used it for about seven weeks and I'm almost done I'm not completely done I still have a little to go but um, I decided to give this product a try because it has bump ingredient deck you know we have the kojic acid we all know what kojic acid does it's a very strong pigment inhibitor and that's why a lot of brands use it in very small percentages because it's really strong it is effective but if you use too much it can be very very irritating so we have kojic acid here and i'm pretty sure it's not too much i don't know the percentage of kojic acid in this product because the percentages were not disclosed but it's definitely a superstar ingredient in this product we have tranexamic acid that's also a superstar ingredient for clearing hyperpigmentation melatonin it has niacinamide we all know that niacinamide helps prevent the spread so it has licorice in it and those are the superstar ingredients that I saw that really made me try so I've been using this product since December I think third week of December and this is what this product looks like the faded serum has a creamy texture so it's not your traditional serum like texture which really makes me wonder how much of this product is really absorbing into the skin because we all know that with pigmentation you need a product to you know really absorb deep into your skin because pigment from forms from the inside of the skin so you really want a product that would absorb pretty nicely into your skin for it to really do the job so um this product has a creamy texture you know a little bit of shiny leftover when you use it so i kind of feel like it sits more the most of the product sits on my skin as opposed to my skin drinking it up and you know it completely absorbing into my skin so i think that may affect the effectiveness of this product but other than that, um, the texture is fine, it's hydrating, it's moisturizing. I've had to skip moisturizer sometimes just because I get a good amount of moisture when I use the faded serum. So I'll just use this and then go, go on with my sunscreen. Sometimes I'll do moisturizers, sometimes I'll skip the moisturizers because it does really feel moisturizing to the skin. The Faded Serum retails for $36. You can get it on mytopicals.com, which is the brand's website. You can also get it on Nordstrom, which is where I got it. And I believe My Topical ships to US and Canada. I'm not sure if Nordstrom will ship outside of the US, 
but yeah for now this is where i know that you can get this product and bottom line is i think it is definitely worth trying this product did pretty okay for me it may do better for you it may do great for you and it may not even work for you but you will never know if you don't try all of the ingredients in the fedex serum are bad boy ingredients yes. to target hyperpigmentation however we're not a scientist so we're never going to know how much of those wonderful ingredients are actually making it to the depth of our skin where we need it to work but you know as a consumer all you have is the ingredient list you know there's more to a product that can deliver results for you it's the ingredient list is the formulation of the ingredient the source of the ingredients but we're never going to know sources and formulation so all we have to work with and decide on what product to use is really the ingredients and the ingredients on this product looks really good so if your skin can tolerate it if you use it or patch test and you don't react then i think it's really worth trying and i'm going to show you my results but i really think you know results are usually different because skin is different what this serum did for me it could do better for you it could do less for you but if you're struggling with hyperpigmentation i think it is worth the try you know it is really worth it and i still have some left so i'm gonna make sure i finish it so i don't think the serum did enough because i had bigger expectations but i think the serum did pretty good so especially if you have normal to dry skin this is going to be a very good serum for you if you have oily skin it's quite okay because it feels creamy and a, a bit oily so if you have very oily skin you may not really like this and if you're going to give this a trial i'll suggest you skip the moisturizer step just use your toner after cleanse you can use a toner if you have a toner in your routine and then use this and follow with your sunscreen so something to keep in mind guys while using the faded serum I experienced some light peeling on nights that I use maybe in my retinoids or my AHA exfoliant. If I do that at night and I use the serum in the morning, I, you know, by the afternoon, I would see light peeling on my skin. So, and that tells me that you shouldn't be layering this with any AHAs or retinoids because I don't even layer it. I use my AHA or retinoids the night before and I use this in the morning and by afternoon I see the peeling happening but it's very light peeling it doesn't make me uncomfortable it's not obvious I'm gonna put a picture of what the peeling looks like it's not a lot of peeling but the peeling it's but the peeling is there and that means you shouldn't be layering this with other actives if you have a vitamin C serum in your routine I don't think you should layer it together because azelaic acid doesn't play well with vitamin C, kojic acid may not play well with vitamin C. So you want to, you know, put your vitamin C aside and use this in the mornings and then your other actives, you can push it at night. Again, like I always say, you're better off not layering your actives. Use them in separate routines, you're still going to get the benefits, you know, because you want to reduce irritation as much as possible. Remember, any little burn, any little pinch, any little scratch, any irritation will leave pigmentation behind. And that pigmentation is very difficult to clear. So there you have it, guys. If you got any value from this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section, will you be trying this? Have you tried it? And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.